Hi, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Active Directory Rights Management Services. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new instance of ADRMS. This video will cover step 2 of the ADRMS step-by-step -step guide located on TechNet. I'll log on to the domain controller in my virtual environment as the administrator so that I can add the user account ADRMS Admin to the Enterprise Admins group. I'm going to use the ADRMS Admin account to install ADRMS. This account needs Enterprise Admin credentials to register the service connection point with Active Directory, and we'll see that later in the installation process. This account must also have local administrative rights on the computer running SQL Server and the computer on which you will install ADRMS. I have already completed these steps in my environment here. Now, let's move to the ADRMS server, where I'll log on as ADRMS Admin. In Windows Server 2008, ADRMS is a server role and is installed using Server Manager. I'll click Add Roles to start the Add Roles wizard. I'll select Active Directory Rights Management Services and notice the role services and features that are also required. Here is where I would select Identity Federation Support, which is used to configure ADRMS to use Active Directory Federation Services. If you don't select this option upon installation, you can go back and install it later. I'm going to create a new cluster since this is the first instance of ADRMS in this forest. I'll select my computer running SQL Server, which I have named ADRMS-DB. In a production environment, you should use a DNS alias such as a CNAME or DNS host record such as an A record here. I'll select Default under the Database Instance drop-down menu and click Validate. You could select other database instances here if they were available. Here, I must enter the user account that I have configured for the ADRMS service account. This account must be a different account than the one you are logged on as to install ADRMS. This account simply needs to be a user account. It does not need to be configured with any additional privileges. ADRMS will run under this account during routine operations. I'll use ADRMS centrally managed key storage. I could also use a CSP to create and store the key. Here, I'll enter a new password for my cluster. This password is used to join additional ADRMS servers to the cluster and for restoring the cluster from a backup. I'll select Default Website and click Next. Here, I'll confirm that I want to use SSL and I'll type a fully qualified domain name. In a production environment, you should use a DNS alias like a CNAME or a DNS host record such as an A record here. I already got a certificate for SSL encryption, so I'll select that certificate now. Remember that self-signed certificates are only recommended for test environments. Instead, in a production environment, you would likely get your certificate from a certification authority. Now, I'll register the service connection point. ADRMS clients use the service connection point to automatically discover the ADRMS cluster. I'll show you the role services that will be installed with ADRMS. Now we are ready for installation. Installation can take up to 60 minutes. Typically, my installations have completed between 4 and 10 minutes. Alright, the installation has completed and it was successful. I'll click Close and I'll close the Server Manager. At this point, I can safely remove the ADRMS admin account from the Enterprise Admins group and from the local administrators group on my computer running SQL Server. Before we can administer ADRMS, we must log off and log back in again to update the security token for the ADRMS admin user account. This will update the account's permissions so that we can configure ADRMS. Now, I'll open up the ADRMS console. The first time that you open this console, it may take a few minutes to configure.
I'll expand the ADRMS cluster and you'll be able to see the different administrative options that we can configure from this console. The account that installed ADRMS, which in this case was ADRMS Admin, has full control over the different options in this cluster. Okay, I've just shown you how to install a new instance of ADRMS. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.